What's going on YouTube family? Garrett back at you guys with another video. Today is Sunday, it's the weekend, the weather's nice, so I thought why not head out, hit some stores, and do some retail arbitrage. Guys, stuff is selling like crazy right now, so if you're not out shopping every single day taking advantage of quarter four, you're missing out on a ton of money because stuff is just literally as soon as it hits the warehouse, it's like selling. So I'm literally every day going out shopping, sending in shipments almost every single day, trying to get as much products in to take advantage of this time of the year. It's, nev it's never been like this before, so it's freaking crazy. So I thought, why not bring you guys along for the ride? We're going to be hitting up some Ross stores. Um, I don't really like going to Walmart and stuff just because during the Black Friday, it's so packed and they have all these weird rules now because of, of the situation in the world. But we're gonna hit some Rosses, some Burlington Coat Factories looking for toys, maybe some clothing items. I don't know yet. We'll see what we find, but I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride. Let's go. <laughs> Just left that Ross right there, and it's safe to say we are not off to the best start for the day. Only was able to spend 75 bucks, six items, all toys. Um, most of them were very high profit toys, so we'll still make a pretty good amount of profit. Well, I guess not that good of amount, like 60, 70 bucks profit, maybe a little more. Um, but we're gonna head to the next store and keep it rolling. Let's go. Just left Burlington, spent a total of $228. Don't know if you can see that, but um, not bad. Guys, the key to Burlington is a lot of times most Burlingtons put their like price stickers over the UPC codes. Um, so when you're in there, don't be afraid to manually search stuff up. That's mostly what I did inside of this store and I found a ton of good stuff. 100% um, ROI stuff and things like that. So. Um, easily should pull $150 profit out of this store. First location at Ross, another $60 profit. So, so far after two stops, um, our realistic profit um, is around $200, not bad. It's only 11 in the morning. So we're gonna keep going, see what we could find, let's go. stopped at a Ross and got no phone service inside couldn't look up any of the items so I just left didn't want to waste my time arrived at this Ross went in um, did all right spent $178 um, got about 12 toys um, all of them really good ROI so I'm not complaining um, but we are actually next to a Target and a Walmart I think I'm gonna pass on the Target um, they just haven't had any really good deals for Black Friday that I've liked and wanted to pick up to sell. Um, but Walmart, I haven't, I've gone to one, I picked up some certain toy I'm not gonna name, uh, but I'm gonna go in there and see what they got on sale because they've been switching up the sales for Black Friday every week. Uh, I guess they're doing sales all month or until the holiday, or until the holidays are just doing different deals every single week. So uh, we're gonna head on into Walmart and see if we can find some profits. Walmart Black Friday deals coming through for us, scored big on this Coke Zero. Um, and that's pretty much it, a uh, huge score. Um, can't complain, but nah, all jokes aside, Walmart was pretty much trash. Um, there are some items you could make profit on for sure, but the thing about Walmart, if you guys haven't already figured out, um, is everyone tries to do retail arbitrage at Walmart and the prices just get destroyed um, a lot of the deals they have at Walmart Amazon matches them so you kind of have to play the guessing game 
hold your products for longer than I like to, to avoid price tanking, wait to the price to recover. Um, who knows how long Amazon's gonna be matching that price for. They might do it all the way up to Christmas, they might not. Um, so I'm just not a big fan of Walmart, but I thought, hey, I'm in the area, let's see what deals they have, but they didn't have very many good deals. But we are gonna keep hitting some Rosses. I'm gonna start heading back towards my house um, and see which stops we can make along the way. Let's go. Left this Ross, only could spend $77, so nothing special, nothing great to show you guys in there, or I would have. Target's right back there. So I'm gonna head into Target, one, because I have to use the restroom and Ross doesn't open their restrooms, at least in Arizona, they haven't been. So I'm gonna go use the restroom and then I guess we'll just go through Target and see if they got anything. Word on the street is Target sucks right now. They have no good Black Friday deals, but we're gonna go see for ourselves, let's go. Alrighty guys, just got back. Pretty much all this right here and all this. Only sourced for about three hours. Um, five stores, spent about 15 minutes in each store. I already kind of knew what I was looking for. Um, but I'm gonna get all this prepped up, kind of show you guys the numbers, the breakdown, how much I expect to make, how much profit I'm gonna make. Shouldn't take me more than an hour, hour and a half to prep all of this. So it'd be a total for about five hours of work. So let's run the numbers and see what we ended up with. prepping everything up and I don't get it Burlington Coat Factory for some reason they cross out the barcodes right and then they stick their label over it which makes absolutely no sense basically if you're one of those people that sends stuff in and just has Amazon label it you're not gonna be able to do that if you shop at Burlington's I'm not sure if it's just the ones in my area let me know in the comments do they do this in your area as well, let me know. Just finished prepping everything, got a total of 60 total items, 23 different SKUs. Um, average sales rank is 73,000 in the toy category, which is pretty good, especially during Q4. Total sales value, $2,000. Total buy cost, 826. Total net profit, $620. So this took me about a total of four hours, three hours shopping, an hour to prep. Um, I just have to box it up, which will take five minutes, and off it goes. So basically, it's a Sunday, I wasn't planning on going out. Gonna make around an extra, probably more around $500 once everything gets settled in. Um, but 500 bucks for four hours on a Sunday, um, especially if you're not doing anything, it's better than watching Sunday football. Go make some, some extra cash. But that is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments how you're doing this Q4. What are you selling toys? You doing retail arbitrage, wholesale, private label? Let me know in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys on the next video.